Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Apples and Tierras vlog. So this <laughs> this vlog is going to be a teaching vlog. Um, it's just going to be like a week in the life of a teacher. Um, so it's Monday, January 29th, and it's about 7.15. We just got to school. We're running a little bit late. Um, but I wanted to show you guys over the weekend I came in because... Okay, do the best you can. Whatever you can't get, I'll have one of my students do, okay? I got a new table on Friday and I had to try to figure out what I was gonna do with it, whether I was gonna just get rid of it and roll with my six tables or if I was gonna try to use it. So what I did was I came in on Saturday and I just kind of rearranged the layout. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already saw this, um, but today's gonna be the first day we're gonna try it. So I redid the seating charts to accommodate the new table. Um, and I tried really hard to make sure that Students who had a hard time focusing were all facing like the TV, like they're this set of chairs, not the ones with their backs to the TV. Um, even though I do a lot of like whole group teaching down here, um, I do wanna make sure that when they're here, they're able to focus. So um, it is nice because I have about four students at each table. And for each class, there's gonna be like maybe one or two tables that only have three kids there. So it's really cool. Um, we're gonna see how it goes with spacing. Oh my god. 1%. <laughs> 1%. Plug it in. Um, so we're gonna see how it goes today. I'll let you guys know at the end of the day how I feel about how it went. I still wanted to have like a carpet area for kids mm -hmm. to come and sit down because I really do like having like a community space. Um, where we start class. Um, so I'm going to have cash. Well, I started having cash pick up the numbers, um, but I'll probably just have a couple students do it. I'm going to do those and the rainbow numbers because I'm going to like move them over a little bit because they do get cut off by the tables over there. So anyway, cash and I are going to get ready for the day. Um, I came in over the weekend and I did a lot of prep work. So I don't actually have any prepping to do this morning other than just like quickly going over like what I'm doing, but I have all my copies ready for the week. Like pretty much all I'm doing is reviewing what I need to do, um, which today I'm teaching quotation marks and I need to change my learning target. I also moved this table over here to be more of like an independent space for a couple of cuties that need that. Okay, so um, this is my really stylish maternity outfit <laughs> we are 32 weeks today well we were 32 weeks yesterday um but we're starting to run out of things that are comfortable so we're just kind of wearing leggings and maternity shirts and just kind of rolling with it we're also not doing our makeup as often because we're tired um and we want all the sleep we can get i need to pick up this trash these guys leave everywhere so frustrating. <sighs> okay. Need to feed my frogs. And I wanted to show you guys what I'm having for lunch today. You have some, and you have some. Okay. I'm gonna have to get more food for you guys soon. Starting to get low. I think my snail is dead. It hasn't moved in weeks. That's kind of, it's kind of sad. Okay. Dojo store. Oh, I need to do that. I need to do dojo points. Okay. That's something I definitely need to do. All right. Um, something I thought about doing the other day was putting a sticker on the back of these chairs with like the kid who sits there's name on it, but I think that's overkill. Plus, with how many times I have to move kids around, it's like, why? <laughs> why write their name on something when they're probably going to get moved anyway? Okay, this is what I have packed for the day. This is a breakfast quesadilla on an Ezekiel wrap. It's got eggs, cheese, and pepperoni in it. I know, pepperoni random. And then for lunch, I brought a vanilla yogurt. I have a Cliff Bar for a snack. I have a bag of, like, chocolate nut trail mix. I've got granola for my yogurt. I have a ginger ale just because we had them and it sounded really yummy. Apple, banana, and then for lunch, I have some, I'm not gonna open it. I have some strawberries, some cucumbers with um, Olive Garden dressing from Costco. 
um, a star cookie from Trader Joe's. And then in this pocket, I have uh, a cube or a quarter of that boar skin cheese and some multi-grain like chips, black bean chips. Um, so combined, all of this will become my lunch, which sounds delicious. I need to eat this now. I need to put this away and then I need to get everything ready for our one kids Good morning, come. everyone. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Here's the outfit for the day. I found these maternity pants at Walmart a while ago. I haven't worn them in a while because they're a little short on the ankle. <laughs> um, and uh, it's been a little bit cold out, so I haven't been wanting to wear them. But it's warmer this week. We're in the 50s and low 60s during the day. Oh, you guys, I have to tell you about my new glasses. Hey guys, so I wanted to interrupt this vlog to quickly mention my collaborator for this video, and that is Pear Eyewear. So if you guys don't know what Pear Eyewear is, it is an online glasses company where you can enter your prescription, purchase a pair of glasses, and have them shipped directly to your door. Except for pair eyewear is a little bit unique in the sense that you get to completely customize and switch out your style of glasses anytime you want. So let's talk a little bit more about that. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that I am a very avid glasses wearer. I've been wearing glasses since I was about seven years old. My eyes are terrible, my prescription is terrible but I basically live in my glasses. And I feel like a person that has to wear glasses as much as I do should have tons of options as to styles, colors, sizes, and we should be trading our glasses out like shoes, right? Our, our style of glasses should match our clothing. It should be a representative of your fashion sense. And so when Pair Eyewear reached out to me, I was so excited to give them a try because you can do exactly that. You order your base frame glasses and then you can purchase different style tops to go on top of them to match every style that you wear. One thing that I've always struggled with with buying different styles and pairs of glasses in the past is that every time I want to change my glasses frames or change the style of my glasses, I get a really, really bad headache for one to two days, depending on how many days I want to wear the different frames. And it's just a painful process. So using pair eyewear is gonna be a complete game changer for me because I do wanna switch my glasses out all the time to match whatever I'm wearing for the day. And in the past, I've had to struggle with these headaches and wanting to change my style of glasses. So now I don't have to worry about that anymore and I'm so, so excited. I've been wearing my pair of eyewear glasses for the last about week and a half and I have not had a headache yet. And it has been completely wonderful. I've been able to switch out my styles each day, um, even throughout the day, and I don't have to worry about getting headache. So essentially what you do on PairEyewear.com is you sign in, you pick the frames that you like the best, you enter your prescription, you can choose multiple different styles. There's a ton of different lens options for your prescription. You can do blue light blocking, light responsive transitions, progressive lenses, and then of course premium plus, which is gonna be for your higher prescriptions like mine. You go on the website, you pick your base frames, and then the fun part, you get to pick all of the different tops that go on top of your base frames. So I'm gonna show you guys all of the styles that I ordered through Pair Eyewear, and I will have all of them linked down below, as well as a 15% off coupon code for your very first base frame pair of Pair Eyewear. The first tops that I wanna show you guys are these sunglass tops because I'm super excited about these. I can't tell you how annoying it is to have to sit in the car and like take my glasses off and put my prescription sunglasses on. Anytime I wanna go out in the sun, I have to carry them around with me. It's really annoying. And so now I can actually keep a pair of sunglass tops in like every place I need. I can keep a pair in the car, I can keep a pair in my purse, and anywhere I go, I can just quickly put my sunglasses on and I don't have to worry about changing my pair of glasses. Um, I just pop these tops on. So these are the Tortoise um, Sun Tops and they're great. Um, I've tested them out at recess in the car and they're wonderful for blocking out the sun. I love these, they're just very classic. I'm kind of a classic gal, so a lot of the tops that you're going to see me try on today are very classic and simple. However, I have every intention of getting on the website and ordering 
tons of different style of tops to match like every holiday, every like spirit day, every, you guys will see when I show you the different frames that are available. They partner with like Marvel and Peanuts and Harry Potter and DC. And there's just so many different styles. So anyway, the second pair of sun tops that I got are just the basic black ones. Again, what I typically do is I keep one pair in my purse in this really cool case. It just kind of slips right in here. And then I keep this pair in my sunglass visor in my car. So no matter where I go, I have a pair of sunglasses right there ready to go. These ones are great for blocking the sun. They're a little bit extra dark on the lenses. I love these so much. And those are just the basic black tops. And then I did get four different style of tops that I'm gonna show you guys. So I'll show you the basic ones first. Again, tortoiseshell and black are simple and go-to. These remind me of the frames that I've been wearing for the last few years. They're the really big um, brown ones that you guys have seen me wear in the past. Um, and I had to get a pair of these because I just love a basic tortoiseshell. And then I also grabbed just a basic black. This is just the black top. Um, because again, something simple I can wear with pretty much everything. And then I ordered two funky styles and you guys know when I'm not eight months pregnant, I love to wear like fun, funky clothes um, and really express myself through fashion. And so getting tops like these, which I actually couldn't find these on the website when I was linking them down below. Um, so unfortunately, I do not have a link for these tops specifically unless I can find one between now and posting this video. Um, but they are sort of like a purple, uh, I think this term is like bokeh, bokeh. Um, they're like a sparkle confetti kind of situation, um, but they're just really nice purple um, statement piece. And then these ones are my favorite. These are the um, rose gold sparkle. Um, tops and these are so me. I've been wanting to get a pair of glasses this color for years and all of the ones that are in this color typically don't come in my prescription because they're usually way thinner. So I thought these were really, really cute and they kind of go with like anything that has pops of pink, like they go great with black, leopard print. Um, so anyway, I got those. And then I love the base frames that I picked because they're just clear and they can basically go with any different top of your choice but they have tons of different ones. They have black, blue, tortoiseshell, um, pink. Like you can pick any color base that you want. I just thought the clear would be great because then on a regular day, if I don't wanna wear any tops, I could just have a clear pair. So anyway, I have rambled on and on, but if you guys are interested in checking out pair eyewear, I will have links down below in the description box as well as a special link for 15% off of your first purchase of pair eyewear base frames and I'm just really excited to be able to share this with you guys because these have been a complete life changer. Not getting so many headaches, being able to change my style of glasses, only having to buy and wear one pair is completely life changing. So anyway, if you guys are interested, check out the links below and let's return to the vlog. All right, you guys. So this morning was kind of a struggle. <laughs> I won't lie to you. Um, I slept in a little bit. I wanted to get up a smidge earlier just because I wanted to do a little bit something with my appearance today. Um, it's funny. When you watch my vlogs, you can always tell if I slept in or if I got up on time because <laughs> the product is always different. <laughs> um, but I did get up in time to um, do my hair, put some makeup on, um, and cash took a while to get up. He's not feeling the greatest. He has, you know, obviously what we all have. So, um, he, uh, he took a little bit to get up, but it's okay. He's pretty good about getting up and getting ready to go. I wanted to show you guys my lunch for today because it's really special. Um, okay. So I brought another Greek yogurt. Cash actually ended up eating this yesterday after school. He stole it from me. <laughs> He's looking at me now like, I want that. You stole it from me. Um, and I still have the granola to put in there. Um, for breakfast, I'm just going to heat this Trader Joe's chicken sausage breakfast burrito up. And I have a little bit Why of... Why do you take my favorite snack? <laughs> would you? I have a little bit of Taco Bell salsa that I'll put on there just for breakfast. And then, you guys, this is so bad. I'm eating a different burrito for lunch because I literally, like, this equals no time to prepare anything healthy and delicious for lunch. So 
Uh, we get these from Costco. They're just the reds. I really like the bean and cheese ones too. And then I brought a chocolate chip cliff bar for after school snack. I've got a ginger ale for lunch because I like to have a little something different. And then I have these black um, bean and quinoa chips from Trader Joe's that I love. And I have the buffalo chicken dip in my fridge. So I figured if I wanted a snack, um, I could munch on that um, throughout the day. So I'm just gonna go put all of this in my fridge, heat up my burrito and get started with our day. Um, my students are going to be writing a rough draft of an essay we've been planning for. Um, and I'm using our state test to, um, like I pulled the, um, what's it called? The prompt and everything from the state test. So we're really just doing the sample and practice test um, to learn about how to write an informative essay. Um, so we're doing that. Uh, we've been planning for the last two weeks, taking them through making graphic organizers, what goes into a body paragraph, what belongs in an introduction, um, just kind of going step by step through the planning process of planning an essay so that they can really see how long the process takes. And then today will be day one of writing their actual rough drafts. Um, so what I did is I went online. Oops, that's not mine. I just realized this piece of paper that came out with my copies does not belong to me. So I'll put that back in there. Um, but I gave my students a draft checklist on one side. And then on the other side is a um, writing checklist from the actual testing website. Um, and it's the, uh, the test is AASA, it's called ASA. Um, and so the draft checklist just has like little things I want them to make sure they're doing while they're writing their draft. I want them to try to skip lines because I wanna be able to provide them with feedback and have them make corrections somewhere on the draft. And so if they skip lines while they're uh, writing, that gives me and them a space to provide feedback, make corrections, add, change, whatever. Um, hopefully they will do it. Some of them will probably struggle too, um, but I'm gonna hopefully try. I'm gonna try and make an incentive. Like if you skip lines, you can get three more dojo points. Like try to motivate them to just skip lines. Um, indenting and spacing between sections, readable handwriting, good letter spacing, introduction, three body paragraphs, and a conclusion. So that is the checklist on this side. And then on the back is an actual checklist that goes with the grading rubric for a writing task like this. And it just has things like, I introduced my topic or text clearly and explained the subject matter, telling a surprising fact or giving a big picture. Yes, so when they're done writing their introduction, they can. Then it goes into organization, transitions, um, elaborating, quotations, things like that. So pretty much anything and everything they need to include in their essay is here so that while they're writing their drafts or maybe like shortly after or halfway through, they can go through this checklist and just make sure that they're including everything. And um, when I pull them to conference throughout their drafts, like maybe in a couple days, um, we can go over this checklist together and just make sure that they have everything. Um, so I'm gonna give those out today. And then uh, we're starting to talk about Valentine's Day because it's February or yeah, it's February or January 30th today. Um, and we're starting to talk about Valentine's Day plans. So my teammates and I are just kind of like sharing all the things we have. Um, we do have to give <laughs> a district writing assessment on Valentine's Day, which is unfortunate. But I think the reason why is because most students don't like miss Valentine's Day at school because they want to be here for all the stuff. So we're planning on giving the writing benchmark test, um, not a test, it's just an assessment to see what they took away from what I just taught um, and to practice for um, ASA. So we're going to give that on Valentine's Day, the first half of the day, uh, the first like three hours of the day. And then the last three hours of the day, we'll do like Valentine's celebrations. So everybody's here. Um, and they're motivated to get to that um, event. So anyway, that's what's going on today. I need to pass out dojo tickets this morning. Um, I have tutoring scheduled today, but I might have to reschedule it because I have a parent who would like to conference about her child. Um, it's been some pretty rough things going on uh, behavior-wise and things like that. So we need to conference um, just so that everything is out in the open on the, on the table. Um, and so I might have to cancel my tutoring session, which sucks because that is like 60 bucks 
um, off my paycheck when I cancel tutoring and I, I could reschedule, but I literally have no days this week to reschedule. Um, so that's going to be really hard, but it is what it is. I'm actually considering like pulling out of tutoring because in the next seven weeks, <laughs> um, A, I'm not going to be able to do it anymore. Um, I have doctor's appointments every two weeks. And then we have so many IEP related meetings like met ones, red meetings, IEP meetings coming up that pretty much all of my tutoring hours are going to have to be either rescheduled or canceled anyway. So I have half a mind to just pull out of tutoring and not offer to do it anymore because I'm just going to have to like cancel anyway. So I need to figure that out and look at my calendar and really like dial in when I can do it. And if I can, maybe just change it to one day a week, but do like four hours after school, which would be a lot because that's how many hours a week I tutor now is four hours, two hours on Tuesday and two hours on Thursday. So I'm going to see, um, but for now I'm just going to get the day ready and then check in with you guys when I can. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I feel like this week is going by so slow. I don't know about you guys, but January just isn't ending. Today is January 31st, and I just feel like this week has gone by at a crawling pace. <laughs> Cash and I just got here. It's um, 7.20, and uh, I don't have much to do this morning to prep because my kiddos are still writing their rough drafts today. But I am wearing a pair of my new pair eyewear glasses. <laughs> This is going to happen to me. You just watch. I'm going to be like showing off my glasses and then drop them. Anyway, I chose pink today and I wear a pink butterfly clip in my hair. And I've got like turquoise and pinky toned jewelry. So, um, also how cute is my Pixton class? I'll just comment on that. Anyway, I'm eating for breakfast a bagel breakfast sandwich that I made. It's got egg, cream cheese, pepperoni, and um, Colby Jack cheese on it. It's pretty delicious. I made Scott one too. Let's do a fit check. Sorry, Cash, I'm trying to light on. Okay, here's the fit. Jean shirt. Black maternity bum, uh, black maternity top. These maternity leggings are from Amazon. I love them. They have pockets, and um, they're ankle length. And then I just have my Vans on today, and again some pink and turquoise accents. Very cute. Also. How adorable is this lanyard? I got it from Etsy a couple weeks ago. I think it's really cute. I love Miss Frizzle. Anything I can do with Miss Frizzle. Oh, speaking of Miss Frizzle, my teammate Jocelyn has this system in her classroom. And I don't know where she picked it up, but I'm stealing it. Um, and it's called the Wizard. And basically what happens is she has a stuffed owl that she puts on the desk of the child who is excelling at whatever assignment or task she's given them. They're done early. Um, they're an exemplar. They've mastered it. She puts this owl on their desk, and that student is allowed to respond to questions and hand raises um, that come up during, like, independent work time. So it's like an extra teacher in the room that can go around and help kids. I thought that was genius. Um, and so I decided to make one for my classroom. So I'm using the frizz because science. Um, so I made these little um, graphics. I made two of them. And what I intend to do with them is the same thing that she does. Basically, if I have a child that's excelling at whatever task we're doing, they're done early and they could um, be another helpful teacher. I'll just put that on their desk and then they are more than welcome to go and respond to hand raises. I'm also thinking about using Liz for something. Um, I do have a class rater, so um, I have a student who is responsible for paying attention to behaviors in the classroom, and at the end of each day, or I guess block, 
they report on a scale from one to five what they thought, um, the, how they thought the class did for the day. And so I might use Liz to like sit on the Raiders desk. I don't know yet. Um, but I thought it would be fun to like utilize those. Okay. I need to get planned and prepped for next week. The problem is I don't necessarily know how next week's going to pan out because kids are rough drafting today. Tomorrow we're doing science. Friday we're doing science and social studies is kind of split. And then some of my kids are going to need to finish writing Monday and Tuesday next week. So I need to either like find an I'm done activity for the kids that finish and like plan to do writing Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, get back into science. I think that's what I might do. And then I might just keep it like that for a while until we're done with the writing project. Just so that I'm not wasting like the whole week on writing. Cause they're at this point where like they've written a rough draft and now I have to provide feedback. And then they'll go and type a final draft based on what I like think and what revisions they should make. Um, so I feel like we're at a point where like if I reserve Mondays and Tuesdays for writing, then I can conference with kids on Mondays and Tuesdays. I can give all the kids like quiet, independent work they can do if they're done. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we can get back into science stuff. Because I'm starting to run out of time. I mean, realistically, let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five weeks left. Five. That's not very many. Um, I'm going to do the Birth of Rocks Mystery Science Unit. It's five lessons long. So if I'm doing science only on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm only going to get one lesson done a week. Which would be fine, but I wanted to cover more than that this quarter. It is what it is at the end of the day. It is what it is. I'm doing the best I can. So... I think we might have to do that. Monday, Tuesday, writing. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, science. Sprinkle in social studies when we can. And um, holiday. When we're done with writing, I might do social studies Monday, Tuesday. And then do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, science. That, that way they're getting um, a good amount of both. It's just crazy how quickly time goes. And then five more weeks is my last day of school for the year because I'm going on maternity leave. That in itself is wild. All right, I'm gonna get to work planning and then we'll see how the day goes. Oh, I have character council meeting today. I need to do a whole video on character council, honestly. Um, I'll add that to my list because I want to tell you guys about it. <clears throat> wow, this whole professional YouTube tripod thing I've got going here is fabulous. Character council video. Okay. Oh, we have a spirit assembly today at nine o'clock too. So that cuts into our writing time. Lovely. Okay. I'll see you guys in a minute. Like literally a second. Good morning guys. Happy Friday. I did not vlog at all yesterday because yesterday was a wild and crazy day. Um, we had Donuts with Dames in the morning, which is an event where we invite all of the moms and grandmas, aunts, basically female role models to school, and the kids get to have a donut with them, and it's kind of like a, and it's kind of like a, it's like a Donuts with Moms thing. So anyway, um, we had that going on yesterday, and then I also had my formal observation yesterday. Um, which went really, really well. Um, I don't ever, I mean, at this point in my career, I just feel like it is what it is and I don't ever stress about it. Turn it down just a little, baby. Less. <clears throat> so anyway, that's why I didn't vlog yesterday, but it is Friday today and it's a little bit of a rainy morning which is nice um it's great for winter today's groundhog day um so we'll see if 
we get some more winter, which I hope we do because I really do enjoy the snow and just moving back here. Like I kind of want to have like a fun snow day. Like we need a, we need a real snow day. So anyway, I'm excited for that. Um, today we're going to just chill. Um, we started mystery science, um, the birth of rocks unit for fourth grade. If you guys don't use mystery science for your science curriculum, and if you're allowed to, um, you should definitely look into it. It is very high interest, very engaging, covers pretty much every standard. There's a couple of little gaps you have to fill in along the way, but overall, like, it's pretty amazing. I've used it for the past three school years. This is the fourth school year I've used it, and it's just really good. The kids learn a lot from it. It's highly engaging. Um, it's minimal prep and minimal planning. All you have to do is get stuff printed, um, get the materials for all of the investigations, and then um, grade. So it's wonderful. Um, so I might start that second lesson today. The kids were begging me. Um, I was going to do like a catch-up day with a social studies task that I gave, but honestly, it's kind of one of those assignments that I just want to chuck because... It doesn't really give me any information anyway, so I might just chuck it um, and call it a day and um, give them something else to do for that. So it's been it's been hard because we've been doing writing the last few days and writing's exhausting. Um, I have all of these notebooks I'm gonna have to grade. This is only just the ones that are done. I have three stacks of notebooks. Three stacks of notebooks um, that I'm gonna have to grade. So, and it's gonna be a while, but I'm gonna try and do it quick and just grade it on the rubric and call it a day. Um, I might even like not grade them yet and wait until their final essays are written and typed and then grade those. Like do a quick glance through and not really grade grade, but like give them feedback. Anyway, um, I went to Starbucks this morning cause it's payday, got me a, Sausage, egg, bacon wrap. They're my favorite. Got a little coffee. Just a little grande. Kind of good. I'm going to get ready for the day. If we are going to do this, um, this science thing, then I got to get that rolled out. It's a short day today, though, so um, it could either benefit me with what we're doing or we could get more behind. So we'll see. you guys it is Friday afternoon the weekend has begun it was a crazy long week y'all but we did it we survived and um, on to the next thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.